Tonight, a Walton County man accused of 134 felony counts says he's innocent. Double A auto salvage owner Mark Runge is charged with failure to report records after he allegedly failed to notify the county about vehicles he bought and destroyed. News 13's Maggie Solomon is live in our studios now. She spoke with Mr. Runge as well as the Walton County Sheriff. Maggie, he was arrested and charged last week. On Thursday, Amy, but law enforcement says they've been talking to Runge about this issue since April. At a salvage business, the sounds of metal are nothing new. But at AA Auto Salvage, the sounds of paperwork have crept in. I was uh, arrested on 134 felony counts of failure to upload records. This is Mark Rungi, the owner of the salvage yard on July 21st. He was arrested by the Walton County Sheriff's Office for not reporting 134 vehicles to Leeds Online. It's the county's database for reporting secondhand and scrap material sold. They want me to go above the law. They want me to upload to Nevitas, my cars to Nevitas, and they want me to upload my cars to Leeds Online, which the Leeds Online is not even law enforcement agency, and it's not required by law. Florida statute says businesses must notify the state and federal governments of dealings, and Rungi says he does paperwork through the tax collector's office. But Florida statute also says local law enforcement can designate a database for these dealings, and in Walton County, it's Leeds Online. There's not another dealer in the state of Florida that uploads their cars to Leeds Online. To my knowledge, no other dealer in the state of Florida has refused to do this other than him. Sheriff Michael Atkinson says the tax collector's office only keeps records for 90 days, which isn't ideal in law enforcement investigations when dealing with stolen property. He says they've tried to work with Rungi since April to get all the proper paperwork in order, and all they've wanted is compliance. Whether I like the law, don't like the law, to allow him to do business in that manner is not fair to the public. But Rungi says he thinks he's obeying the law. I'm not going to do more than the law requires. It's just all there is to it. Now, the Leeds program is free to those who use it, and Rungi says he already uses Leeds online in other parts of his business, but because he says it isn't required with vehicles, he doesn't want to waste the business's time. Now, Maggie, what happened after he was arrested? Well, Amy, he was released from jail Friday morning on a $1,000 bond and is scheduled to return in court in September.